Foreign Institutional Investors FII Can a foreigner actually invest in India? Let's find out in this video. A foreign institutional investor invests in a country outside of the one in which it is registered. FIIs can include hedge fund, mutual fund, pension fund, investment banks and insurance companies and so on. Foreign institutional investors are important for the development of a nation but some countries like India has kept an upper limit to the total value of shares where they can purchase. This is done to limit their influence in individual companies because it can be dangerous if they fled during a crisis making potential damage to our financial system. Developing countries have the highest number of FIIs to bring up and develop their economy to provide higher growth potential to their investors. In India, all FIIs must register with SEBI in order to participate in our financial market. FIIs are allowed to invest in India's primary and secondary market where they can purchase shares and debentures via the stock exchange. If a mutual fund in United States sees a high growth potential in an Indian company, they usually go ahead and take a long position by buying the shares of that Indian listed company. The ceiling for the overall investment for FIIs is 24% of the total paid up capital of that Indian listed company. This limit is 20% in case of public sector banks. One FII can hold not more than 10% of an Indian listed company. You can see the percentage an FII has invested in an Indian listed company by reading their annual report. China is also a popular destination for FII seeking to invest in high growth capital market. In 2019, China removed the limits on the amount FIIs can invest in the nation listed companies. This was done in order to increase the FIIs participation in the country. Some of the major FIIs are Citigroup, Marine Lynch, HSBC and so on. 